The other day I made a decision that's not going to be very popular with a certain group of people. And by that certain group of people, I mean the Glocktards. Because that decision I made was that I was going to sell all my Glocks. Now, you might say, oh, he's trolling. He's not really going to sell his Glocks. No, I'm not trolling. I sold my Glocks. I decided the other day I was going to sell them. I listed them all. Finally sold them all today. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm someone that has said all along, I own Glocks, but I don't think they're the best at anything. And if, you, if you're one of these people that says, well, Glocks are the best this or Glocks are the best that or Glocks have a great trigger, to me all that is saying is I don't have a lot of experience because they're not. They're not the best at anything. Anyone that has a lot of gun experience knows they're a compromise. They are the gun that's good at everything but not the best at anything. And I like to think there are certain people that can see through hype, can see through advertising, and can not fall victim to peer pressure. And I like to think that I'm one of those people. So I decided, why should I compromise? Why should I own six or seven of a gun that I find inferior to other guns and defined to be a compromise? No matter how good they are, I still find them to be lesser than other guns. I find them to be a compromise. Why should I settle for having six of those compromises when I could sell them and use that money to buy two or three guns, maybe even three or four guns that I find to be much better. I mean, when you have as many guns as I have, you don't need to compromise on these guns. You can sell them and have fewer guns of something that's better. I mean, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, if you've got enough guns, you don't have to compromise. You can have a gun that's best for everything. You don't have to have a gun that's an overall compromise. So I decided I'm not compromising anymore. I'm going to buy the guns I think are better. So that's the reason I decided to sell my Glock. Now, the big question you're going to ask now probably is, well, what guns do you think are better? What guns did you sell your Glocks to buy? And I'll show you. I'll tell you right now what guns I chose to buy. USA made Glocks, of course, because now I've got the same ruggedness, reliability, and practicality of any Austrian made Glock or any Glock on the market, but now I have the added advantage that they are made with big, fat, sweaty, greasy, overpaid American fingers. And to me, that's very important. Now, I've sold five to get this four because I sold all my Glocks except for the one that doesn't really belong to me and Gary because it's really not fair to push Gary off on anyone. I just wouldn't do that to anyone. He's not stable. But, you know, sold five, bought four. So I got to build myself back up a little bit, but it was well worth it because now when I meet one of those people who says, oh, I only buy American guns, I can say, well, you know, I agree with that sentiment to a degree. So I think you should look at a Glock because now not only can you say, you know, these guns are great. They're reliable. They are durable. They have a reputation that you just can't beat. But now, they're also patriotic. You ain't even my real dad.